Birmingham versus Arsenal at the Autotech Stadium. Two clubs whose form curves are heading in opposing directions just now. Arsenal's on the rise. Birmingham's deserting them just when they need it. But they threaten first, 12 minutes in. Remy Allen with super control and no defensive company. And a shot that was only just on the high side. Arsenal took the lead in the 27th minute. Casey Stoney's been her usual menacing self from set plays this season, but generally with her head. What a strike that was. Unsavable. 1-0. Birmingham's defeat to Chelsea last weekend saw the two swap places at the top of the table. This was the first of their two games in hand to try and get that lead back, but they were on the back foot. That was Becky Spencer tipping over from Jordan Nobbs. Then after the break, controversy. Joe Potter's free kick and apparently a barge there from Rachel Yankee on Jade Moore. The penalty was awarded by Amy Fern initially, but then declined after consultation. In two months under caretaker boss John Bayer, Arsenal have been beaten just once. And coming off a 4-0 win at Man City last weekend, they were clearly in a good place. But now they had to withstand an onslaught from an aggrieved Birmingham. That was Remy Allen in space again. A good save from Emma Byrne. With 20 minutes to go, Arsenal found some breathing room. Shinobu Ono was released down the left. Her cutback evaded a whole host of players in red and blue, but arrived just perfectly for Frida Raizi. Lovely finish, 2-0. And that's the way it stayed until added time, when a push from Casey Stoney did give Birmingham a penalty this time, and this one wasn't taken back. It didn't have the significance of the earlier one, of course, but still, Karen Carney stuck it away. There was no time for anything further, though. Defeated Birmingham remained three points behind leaders Chelsea with just one game in hand now. For Arsenal, that is eight wins from their last ten played in League and Cup. 2-1 the final score.